Hey, what's up, Jubal people? Today we're learning how to play this. <laughs> so, super cool song to play. Um, this is the PDF that we created for just this lesson. And it's got all the chords, all the jiggles, and everything that you need to know to be able to play this song. Okay, so there it is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk... So, so first of all, this is very intimidating if you look at all these chords, but it's really just two shapes. This shape this shape and this shape that you also need to know and once you know those two you can play the whole song okay you just need to play them at different places on the fretboard so we're going to start by looking at this G okay or before we do that let's just do the picking pattern first okay so the picking pattern if you play this G chord just ring finger at the top then So you start by pinching them together, 6th string and 2nd string. And then you do like the strumming kind of thing. Okay, so that's kind of the main riff. And then you do a lot of pinching and playing the G string, like let's say you do the A minor. Pinch together and then play the, the G string alone. There's a lot of pinching with these two fingers, okay? Middle finger and thumb. And then this one, the index finger plays the G. Sometimes you'll do the high E string, like with this chord. And then you just pinch string five and strings one. But this finger stays on the G string, the first finger. And it's gonna do like a strumming kind of thing, do this. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, Let's do the first four chords quickly, okay? I'm actually gonna go to this view. Yep, this is a lot better. Hey, why? Wait a second, sorry guys. Uh, something's wrong here. That's not what I... Uh, wait a second. Okay, wait, we just got the wrong... Hmm. Okay, so that's the right view. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, sorry about this, guys. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a technical difficulty. Okay, okay that's the one. And we are good to go. Let's just do this. Okay. So, oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, technical difficulties, guys. Oh, that's the problem. Oh my word. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I wish there was an undo button. Okay. Sorry for everybody. Okay. So, okay, we're going to do the first four chords. Here we go. So. So G. Let me see if I can. Okay. 
Uh, out of my work. Wait. Yeah, there we go. And this one. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, here we go, G, A minor, G slash B, and then at the 10th fret, we do this G. Let me show you what I'm doing with my right hand. Okay, then we go to the second line of chords, C, C, C sharp diminished, then we're plucking strings 5, strings 1, and index finger still in the DC. And then you do the same move with the D, D. It's going to look the same as C, C, D. And then E minor. Now we're at the fourth line. Okay. So this is D, D sharp, flat five. Which is probably D sharp diminished, but uh, not really because... Anyway. E minor. Then you do the same thing that you did at the 12th fret. So this is E minor. And then C. Uh, the sequence of the song is C. Uh, then we do the C minor later. So that's D. Ah, C. This is C minor. A7 A minor and then back and then three more chords that you need to know F it's the same as the D and the C shape and the G shape but it's at the 8th fret D minor at the 5th fret remember we did C C minor so it's D D minor and then B flat is at the 1st fret Okay, so now we're ready to learn the song. Let's go to the sequences. So for the intro, we've got this little thing going like this. So. And then when they start singing, they do this exactly the same thing, but then they go to something different. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Sharp, D, D sharp, E minor, E flat, D, C sharp, C, C minor, G slash B, A, A minor, G. And then the first verse, they just do this little extra thing. C, G slash B, A, A minor, G. So that's just... Pretty cool. And then the chorus, then you basically repeat the verse, but then the chorus is this part. Black, black I'm not singing it correctly, but anyway, it goes like this. Try to sing that. Take this broken ring and turn it back. Oh, your life. You don't wait for the moment to last. Flatbird, fly. Flatbird, fly. Into the dark and the darkness. Night. Night. So then 
it just starts again with the intro after the chorus. Black, black bird flying, black bird flying into the dark and dark and I like to sometimes put this finger with the G. to keep my middle finger rested on the high E string just to, as a placeholder but also to kind of hey who is commenting here Alvi what's up dude <laughs> look what you have seen um, yeah so chorus is And then it's just repetition of the, and the end of the song you're gonna do this thing. Sweet guys, that was all for today, and that was super fun. I really enjoyed giving this lesson. So remember, you can download this PDF using the link below. Peace out.